All right, guys, welcome to another battle vid. Now, this one is between two top tier wireless headsets. The first one is from Sony, and this is the Sony InZone H9 wireless headset uh, against the SteelSeries Arctis Nova Pro Wireless. Let's find out which is the better wireless headset. Okay, guys, we have two wireless headset, one that is brand new from Sony with your brand new InZone line. Now you guys are probably wondering, wait, is this part of the PlayStation line or not? No, InZone is for Sony's PC and accessory market. So things like the H9 wireless headset, as well as also the M9 gaming monitor, which you see in this video, and also check out that video here. Now let's start off with the H9 wireless headset. This headset has a very similar styling to Sony products, especially the PlayStation. We've got the white and black two-tone color, Sony logo, looks really nice. It's got ear cups that look kind of massive, but they're actually quite comfortable. And they've got that sort of aviator look to it. So when you put them on your ears, they kind of fit this way, right? Now, the headband is actually soft and comfortable. You've got nice soft leather all across, as well as also the leather uh, on the ear cups. Now, Sony says that this is the same leather they use on the XM5s, and also the tuning is similar to what you get with the XM5. So that is actually nice to see. Now, these headphones come with active noise cancellation. You've also got transparency mode built in there. Um, when it comes to controls on the headset themselves, there's also software controls which we'll check out. We do have a drop down mic, and that mic, of course, you drop it down to talk, you pull it back up, it mutes. You, on your left ear cup, you've got your volume rocker, you've got your active noise cancellation button, your USB Type-C port for charging, which gives you up to 32 hours of use. You got your game and chat volume rocker on the right hand side and then a Bluetooth button to connect to your smartphone to answer phone calls as well as the power button. And all that comes to a nice cool price of $299. So this is a top tier headset and it's meant for that. And again, this will work with your PlayStation 5 and your PC using the USB dongle that does have that switch that says PC or PlayStation 5 and you can use it there. So that's that. How about the Arctis Nova Pro Wireless? Now the Nova Pro Wireless is a very different type of headset. It does come with this um, hub here, which you can connect directly to your PC and your PlayStation at the same time, which is very different. They also have a hub or a unit that's separate that can be used for your Xbox as well as also uh, your PC as well. So you can either pick Xbox or PlayStation variants, but either way, both will work with your PC. Now the headset itself comes with the traditional Actus styling. You do have that skier headband they always use. It's very flexible and it just feels really premium in your hands. Now you've got soft leather ear cups. I would say in terms of comparison, they're both the same in terms of comfort in the ear cups, even though for some reason, the Actus uh, Nova Pro feels a little lighter just because of that skier headband, which I do like. Now, when you look at each of them on the right ear cup, there is a Bluetooth button because you can also connect your smartphone to it as well. And on the left ear cup, you do have your volume rocker, you do have your retractable microphone, and you also have a dedicated mute button and a power button. There's also a 3.5 mm jack as well. Now, that's not the only thing that sets this headset aside in terms of just difference. The other thing, of course, is the fact that you do have these uh, ear cup covers on both of the ear cups. Now, when you open up the left ear cup cover, what you get here is a USB uh, port to basically go ahead and recharge the headset. And on the right one, you do have a swappable battery. This is huge. This allows you to swap your battery, uh, which you can, you, it comes with two batteries. One is actually housed in here, within the, uh, the hub itself. Uh, so you can charge that, swap it out whenever you want to, and you're good to go. So when it comes to design, aesthetics, and just pure functionality, SteelSeries has most functionality here. Now, it is priced at $349, so it is a slightly higher and more expensive than the, the, the Sony InZone H9, uh, but it does give you a lot of functionality with it because you have the hub, you can connect to two devices at the same time, wired, as well as also Bluetooth, so basically three devices at once, and you can swap between all three. So let us talk about sound, microphones, right? We've got uh, a pull-out mic on the SteelSeries uh, 
Octus Nova Pro, and we've got a drop down mic on the Sony Inzone H9. Instead of wasting your time, take a listen to both and we'll discuss. Okay, this is the sound sample of the Sony Inzone H9, and this will give you an idea of what the microphone sounds like while you're using it to game or you're chatting with friends. Uh, you can hear the sharp inflection and also the very um, isolated environment it gives. So I'm gonna be snapping my fingers far away from my head to see if it actually picks that up while I'm actually talking. I'm snapping my fingers, snapping my fingers, and then we shall move over to the Steel Series headset. Now, this is a sound sample of the Actus Nova Pro Wireless from Steel Series, and this is how it sounds while I'm using the headset. Um, it's got a much uh, softer tone to it, and I'm going to be doing the same thing while I'll be snapping my fingers, snapping my fingers, snapping my fingers, snapping my fingers, to see how much of that actually gets into this voice recording. And now let's go ahead and finalize this. Okay, so it seems here clearly that Sony needs to do some work on their microphones. This is where I think the InZone um, H9 lacks because the microphone feels very tinny. I use it with a bunch of friends while playing Call of Duty and they all mentioned what mic we're using because honestly we couldn't hear you that well or you just sounded very off compared to the Actus Pro where everyone said it sounded good, it was clear, and people were wondering, okay, what, is this a new headset? So a lot of people definitely liked the SteelSeries headset for the microphone audio. Now, when it comes to general audio from both headsets, if you're looking for something that will pick up um, you know, footsteps and noise, they do a good job. Both the SteelSeries and the, and the Sony uh, InZone H9 do a good job in just picking those directional sounds. You do have DTS audio on the SteelSeries. You also have spatial audio for both headsets as well. And they do a good job picking out those minute sounds that you're looking for, especially when you're playing first person shooters. So I definitely like that built in. Now, Sony does have an upper hand having active noise cancellation if you're gonna be gaming in a tournament or you're going to a friend's place and there's a lot of noise and you wanna block out the surrounding noise around you. The active noise cancellation from the Sony InZone H9 do a really good job, while of course the Seal Series doesn't have that functionality. Now speaking of functionality, they both have some really nice in-depth software. Now Sony has the InZone software which allows, you, which allows you to go in and of course change the different presets. You can also do your mic monitoring. You can also change the, uh, the, uh, the power signature so you, you can change the times it will turn off. And you can also pair the headset to different games as well. Same thing with the SteelSeries and SteelSeries software. You can go into the Sonos software, which will actually help you with your EQs, as well as your mic, and as well as your game and chat volumes. Uh, and then there's also another part of the software you can do some more customization to the headset itself. But the big thing here is the hub right here gives you a lot more functionality. So if you're sitting in front of your PC, you have your monitor, you can go ahead and quickly tap that button there and change the different functions or simply just change from USB input to input. So I can go from my PS5 to my PC in terms of audio without actually pulling out that USB dongle. So this gives me more functionality all the way through when it comes to software as well as so hardware uh, integrations here. So the main question is, which is the best, better headset to pick up? Is it the Sony H9 or the SteelSeries Actus Nova Pro? The answer is simply the Actus Nova Pro Wireless. This headset gives you so much more in terms of functionality and use, and also overall quality is just better than the Sony's. Now, don't get me wrong. The Sony does a really good job with its audio. It does a really good job with comfort and the active noise cancellation is great. And that InZone software really has a lot of great functionality, but the microphone doesn't sound as good, especially for its price point, which kind of negates the purpose of having a gaming headset because you need to, of course, communicate with your friends. As opposed to the SteelSeries Actis Nova Pro Wireless, which has a really solid microphone. Uh, you've got some really great audio on it, but the functionality is so in-depth. Again, it allows me to take advantage of that Sony M9 monitor, where I can have my PlayStation and my PC on the same desk and I don't have to toggle inputs by pulling out the USB dongle. All I have to do is just tap here and I can toggle between my inputs and jump to my PlayStation or jump back to my PC to game and it's very solid. So if you guys agree with me, let me know or if you want to pick up 
any of these devices, I will have the links down for you down below. But honestly, SteelSeries has done a really great job and I see why a lot of people say this is probably the best gaming headset. And Sony, that's a nice start. I just wanna see some improvements. Till next time guys, enjoy.